Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my brand new book called The Drawing Lesson coming out next Tuesday, July 5th. And uh, once I open it up, I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek inside. But let's go ahead and cut this baby open, see what this book looks like. You know, it is always, always a thrill. It doesn't matter how many books you get published, you always are excited as I am right now, you can probably hear it in my voice, to see this book, find out how it turned out. After all the work, I put it, ah, oh, there it is. There it is, folks. The drawing lesson. I'm sorry, I can't really see through the camera. I <laughs> have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, here we go. Look at it. Look at it, people. It is a thing of beauty. Uh, there's the spine. There's the back side of it. It is, uh, it is an interesting project, and I'm going to be telling you all about it in just a moment. But for now, let's just lay this down and say, stay tuned. You are about to get a little sneak peek inside. So, as you see, it is called The Drawing Lesson, with the subtitle, A Graphic Novel That Teaches You How to Draw. And that is indeed exactly what it is. Uh, I came up with a narrative story uh, to be told in graphic novel form that would allow people to uh, get a series of lessons uh, about drawing, about the real fundamentals of drawing. And uh, so, uh, to give you a little taste of it, I'm going to start opening up and giving you a look at the uh, opening pages. And I think maybe I'll need to... Um, do some swift editing here, <laughs> but uh, that's the uh, uh, sort of opening illustration that was showing this boy who loved to draw cars and he's got all these crumpled up pieces of paper. It's sort of giving you a little bit of an introduction to the table of contents, also done almost as if it were uh, comic books. Um, and uh, here's where I think I should maybe zoom in a little to give you a taste of how the story begins. All right, so I'm going to walk you through a couple of different scenes in the book. Um, uh, and the second one I may even go through in a panel-by-panel -panel way. But this is the opening of the story. I'm just going to take you through it real quickly. This boy named David, he's looking at a book in the park uh, about how to draw sports cars. And uh, the guy who runs the used book stand says, Kid, I ain't running the library here. You going to buy that book or not? They must be in Brooklyn, I guess, by the, by the accent I randomly chose for the book salesman. Anyway, he hasn't got enough money, so the guy snatches the book out of his hand, and of course the boy is not happy about that. But then he, he looks across the way, and he sees this woman drawing in a sketch pad right there in the park. So he runs over there, or I guess he walks over there. He doesn't run. He walks over there, he sees over her shoulder, and he, he's amazed by her drawing abilities. And so he starts talking to her and, uh, you know, sort of uh, uh, expresses to her how, uh, how much he admires her drawing abilities. They talk a little, and then suddenly he's like, Teach me how to draw! I want to be able to draw like you! And she's like, Sorry, but, but I, I'm not a teacher. He says, I'll pay you! And he pulls all his money out. A dollar and nineteen cents. It's all the money I have. And she's like... <laughs> kind of freaked out. I've got ten dollars at home for my birthday. I don't need your money. Please teach me how to draw, please. I gotta learn how to draw like this. It's my dream. And uh, she says, what's your name? David. Okay, David, sit down. I'll give you a little drawing lesson. And he's like, yes. <laughs> and that's how it begins. He sits down and she begins to take him through uh, a, a lesson here. Now what happens is as you're reading the book, as, as David is getting a basic lesson on drawing, you are getting the same lesson that he's getting. Now a lot of people watching my videos over the years, uh, some of them have noticed that uh, uh, some of the videos are awfully specific. You know, like how to draw the Millennium Falcon. And I'm teaching you specifically how to draw one particular thing. Uh, and it's not really focused so much, you know, my videos are not often focused on the very fundamentals of drawing. Well, that's where this book comes in. This book really is all about the fundamentals of drawing not just one thing, but drawing anything. Anything that you want to draw. And if you follow along with these lessons that David gets, uh, honestly, I believe you will learn some very important things about how to see things the way that artists see things. They see things in a very art accurate, you know, studious way, and that's why they're able to draw uh, as well as they do. And so that's what this book is trying to get to. Now what I'm going to do is uh, take you to another scene. I'm going to uh, take you through panel by panel so that you kind of have the experience uh, of actually 
um, reading the book. So let's go ahead and get into that. Hi, Becky. I bet you're wondering how I know where you live. That is exactly what I'm wondering. Explain. No! Well, uh, I was out riding my bike, and then I saw you leave in the grocery store. So I kind of, um, followed you here? Let me guess. You think I'm going to give you another drawing lesson. I've been practicing. You told me to do 10 drawings with shading, but look, I did like 50. David, just because you made a bunch of drawings doesn't mean that you can just... You know, David, it is not cool that you followed me here. Not cool at all. But these are good drawings, and you're a very hard worker, so... And the scene continues from there. Now, I don't want to spoil everything, so I'm not going to show you absolutely everything that's in the book, um, but I just want to point out uh, uh, how I really did want it to be an actual story. I mean, what you just saw there was uh, building some of the character between the teacher and David. I wanted them to seem like real uh, living beings. I didn't want this just to be a series of lessons uh, presented in graphic novel form. Uh, and and I, I believe I pulled it off. It's sort of an interesting challenge to, to tell a story. It does have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And you might even be surprised to find uh, the sort of ending that I came up with for this story. Let's talk a little bit about the different um, fundamentals. You know, I mentioned how this is focused on the fundamentals. I'm going to actually just spell them out for you, the different fundamentals that this book covers. The first real drawing lesson chapter is called Drawing What You See. And indeed, the whole book could maybe be given that title. I'm very much focused on uh, teaching people how to draw what they see, I feel that that's giving you the keys to the kingdom. If you can draw accurately anything that you look at with your eyes, of course, you can draw a still life, you can draw a landscape, but you can also draw a manga or anime very accurately. It allows you to study any different style. I just feel like that is the gateway to almost any type of drawing you want to do. And so I wanted to make sure that that got covered, not just in this first chapter, but throughout the entire book. The next chapter is uh, on shading. You can see I snuck in gouache, my favorite store at the mall. Uh, anyway, this one does talk about shading, and it gets into the way you should hold your pencil, uh, uh, where you apply the shading, the direction of the lines, uh, all that kind of stuff. Chapter 4, Beginning with a Loose Sketch. I know a lot of beginning artists don't like to begin with a loose sketch, but this chapter uh, shows you the benefits of doing that. I don't want, you know, as always, I never like to put these things out there as laws. Everybody must draw this way. No, it's just sort of in a kindly way showing the logic behind, the reasoning as to why someone would begin with a loose sketch. Chapter 5, Understanding Light and Shadow. This one very much a hands-on kind of nuts and bolts uh, chapter on showing you how light and shadow works. Uh, how you could apply it. You know, there's a sample object, but it's really covering the principles that you could apply to any number uh, of objects to get the shading uh, done in an effective way. Chapter 6, Using Negative Space. Some of you have had drawing classes. Maybe you've had a teacher uh, instruct you on the topic of negative space. But I created this book with the idea that, you know, maybe someone has never been taught any of this stuff. Let's get it all into one book and not only give you the lessons, but give you the sort of experience of what it's like to have a mentor. Maybe I'll talk a little bit more about that just before we close the video. But let's go ahead and uh, move on to the other chapters in the book. Chapter 7, Checking Proportions. Uh, this one, they're in an art museum. They look over, they see a... I'll just go ahead and show you. They see a sleeping security guard. And, uh, of course, uh, she encourages him to do a quick sketch. Uh, but it does uh, uh, help for showing you how to check your proportions and get them right before you move on to finalizing your illustration. 
chapter 8, Simplifying Things. Uh, I said the book is about drawing what you see, but that doesn't mean that you draw absolutely everything that is standing there before your eyes in a hyper-realistic way. This is uh, sort of introducing you to the idea of impressionistic drawing. Uh, simplifying, uh, you know, choosing to leave some things out, put other things in, uh, to present things in an artistic way. Chapter 9, Creating a Composition. Uh, this one, after teaching all the fundamentals of drawing uh, earlier in the book, I get into the aspect of arranging things on the page. And this one is very much based on real lessons that I got from David Small, my drawing mentor, back in college. He looked at my sketch pad drawings. He said, look, these are good drawings, but they're all just floating in the middle of the page. You need to start arranging things, creating compositions. Uh, and indeed, I uh, decided to dedicate the entire book to David Small because uh, it's really the inspiration for what I'm doing here. I'm trying to take the experience of having a great drawing mentor like I had and pass it on to people who just haven't been so lucky to uh, encounter someone like that. And uh, so you can consider this book a sort of, you know, virtual drawing mentor experience. As you read it, you kind of get to feel what it would be like to have a mentor like that. One last chapter and then we'll wind up this part of the video. Chapter 10, Bringing It All Together. This is where David gets this final challenge uh, from Becky in which he has to bring together all the different skills that she's been teaching him uh, in order to create one final illustration, probably better than he, he himself even believed he was capable of. And of course, it's a nice way of reviewing everything that has come before it in the book. This is not the last chapter in the book. There's a final uh, chapter or two after it uh, in which we kind of get more back to the narrative aspect, uh, the character stuff between David and Becky. I certainly don't want to give away how the book ends, but it does indeed have an ending, uh, and it is more than just a series of lessons. As I said, it, it is this effort to give you the sort of drawing mentor experience, and uh, I sincerely hope that you will consider uh, checking it out. This book is getting uh, attention, I must say, that I am not used to getting. Word has it that the Wall Street Journal is going to be uh, reviewing, you know, including among uh, its book reviews, going to be reviewing the drawing lesson. I've never had any book reviewed by the Wall Street Journal before. NPR on their uh, Tumblr site featured it. And um, I don't know, it's, uh, who knows, guys? Who knows where it'll all end? I think there's something about this book uh, uh, so far, knock on wood, that seems to be uh, grabbing people's attention. And I hope it'll grab a little of yours. So remember, next Tuesday, uh, July 5th. Very excited to see this new book come out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Next week, of course, I will be back with a, uh, a real how to draw video. Thank you for bearing with me this week as I, you know, let my excitement <laughs> get me a little carried away and, and devote the entire book <laughs> to the drawing lesson. Next week, it'll be back to my usual thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another one real soon.